Welcome to Bantam Show Fam. We've had this plastic snap lock chicken coop for about seven months now. It's our first plastic chicken coop, but our third chicken coop in general. Our first one we built ourselves, and the second one was a pre-made wooden chicken coop that we modified, but so far this one is our favorite. We got this coop towards the end of winter in March, and we've had it throughout the summer. Now it's October. It's been holding up pretty well for us. We've kept it under the coop run cover the majority of time that we've had it. It does seem to warp a little bit, so it's a good idea to keep it on a level ground. And we would prefer to have it raised, but we've got it pretty low to the ground right now. It came with a bunch of carabiners to keep all the latches secured. We usually keep this little door open because we lock up the run itself every night. We thought it was pretty cool that you could adjust the ventilation at the top on both sides. For the nesting boxes, we usually have to push down the lid to get that one latched. And then you could lock it with the carabiner or padlock if you want to, but we usually keep that open as well. We're going to go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to clean our coop. I'd say this is probably our favorite part of it, how easy it is to clean compared to other coops. It's pretty easy to take these trays out and dump them into the trash bin, but it's a little bit difficult when it's so low to the ground. So we would definitely recommend raising the coop. And it actually has spots on the bottom for you if you wanted to attach it to some posts. You could even spray the little trays if you wanted to. Some of the wood chips or whatever bedding you use will get stuck underneath the trays, so you'll have to clean that out every once in a while too. Looks like it's molting season for our chickens. They've got lots of feathers in the coop today. We've also got one broody hen and two mother hens. Putting this back in can be tricky at times, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. We even use a little stick to keep that one in place because the little carabiners that it came with are a little too thin to keep it straight. It's got three roosting bars in here. It says it's supposed to fit about six large chickens and up to 12 Bantam chickens. We've got seven Bantam chickens in here now that seem to fit pretty well. But some of them are also sleeping in the, root, in the nesting boxes still. Because this coop's joints are a little tricky, but it's fairly easy to put together and very 
easy to maintain, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching my review.